MSI Tomahawk motherboards are always very popular and to be honest it's one of my favorite motherboard brands as well and uh, it looks like MSI has done it again with the new Z890 Tomahawk Wi-Fi they improved the existing features and added some new ones let's open it up and take a look at what's new this is a Wi-Fi antenna let's see if it is magnetic indeed it is magnetic so you can attach it to your PC case and use it <laughs> I have one just like it right there. This is called EasyCon cable. It allows you to connect fans, liquid cooling, as well as RGB. Take a look at this beauty. Matte black PCB, black color on the metal bits, and this here looks like gunmetal gray nice accent this motherboard features a brand new CPU socket that supports the next generation of Intel Core Ultra Series 2 processors also known as Arrow Lake the power delivery system features 16 plus 2 plus 1 power phase design and it is sufficiently cooled check out those heat sinks they are pretty big yes very nice you know what i've just noticed that they've moved uh, cpu power connectors to the right and that's actually genius because oh my god it was so difficult to plug in and unplug those cables when they were here it's just you know just getting your fingers in there Oh, that was a horrible experience. I love this design change. Another new feature is this 8-pin power connector down here. It delivers extra power to GPUs as well as fans and RGB. That's up to 252 watts of supplemental power. With high-end GPUs getting more power hungry, I think it is very important to have this feature. I guess they are getting ready for the RTX 5090. The top slot for the graphics card is reinforced and this is PCIe 5.0 which means that next generation graphics cards are supported full speed and these two slots are PCIe 4.0. This is another feature that I was looking forward to. This button here locks and unlocks the top PCIe slot. Very nice. In that window there, there is a tiny lock symbol, so you can see if it is locked or unlocked. Quality of life features do not end there, because now we have toolless installation for the SSDs. Take a look at that. No screws, just take the heatsink off and then install your M.2 SSD and pop this back on like so let's see yep there we go it's as easy as that this one has to be unscrewed but uh, the bottom one also has toolless installation nice in total there are four m.2 ssd slots two over here one over here and the one on top is here this is PCIe Gen 5 and the other ones are Gen 4. Also check it out, on the top Gen 5 slot we get a heat plate down there to provide extra cooling to the SSD. That is a nice touch. Let's take a look at what's behind this heatsink. I know that it is a Gen 4 M.2 SSD slot but let's just take a look at what it's like. Is there anything special down there about it? Nothing special, but it is there. Another Gen 4 SSD slot. 
The motherboard also features four SATA ports in case you want to connect some hard drives. With this adapter, connecting front panel cables is much easier. You just plug this in here and plug in those cables here, which is much easier to do than trying to reach all the way down to the motherboard. Here's what the back of the motherboard looks like. Matte black PCB. And the I.O. shield is pre-installed, which is always good to see. Let's take a look at the connectivity. Wi-Fi 7 is here, and this is full Wi-Fi 7. No corners have been cut in terms of bringing all Wi-Fi 7 features to this motherboard. True Wi-Fi 7 means up to 5.8 gigabit per second data rate. That is a 5 gigabit LAN connection, which is a step up from the 2.5 gigabit last year. And we also get two Thunderbolt ports. This is a big step up because now you can connect fast storage as well as displays to the motherboard via USB Type-C. There's also HDMI, regular Type-C 10 gigabit port, 1, 2, 3 additional 10 gigabit Type-A USB ports, and uh, 4 5 gigabit per second USB Type-A ports. For convenience, flash bias button and clear CMOS buttons are here. And of course you get your mic connection, audio connection, as well as optical audio connection. The front panel USB connection offers 20 gigabit per second speed, as well as 27 watt charge. In total there are 8 fan connectors. One here, one here, one here, three down here, and one more over here. Out of those eight, one is the pump connector, and another one is CPU fan. The motherboard also has a proper debug LED, which will give you a code that will allow you to easily identify what is wrong. Furthermore, the Z890 Tomahawk Wi-Fi supports the latest DDR5 memory. Overall, I think this is an amazing motherboard to build a gaming PC or maybe even a creator PC. I think that MSI did a brilliant job redesigning some of the features, especially I like how they moved the CPU power cables to the right and the additional 8-pin power is also appreciated. And of course I can't forget about uh, the super convenient GPU release button. That is very nice. And toolless SSD installation. And of course we can't forget about the connectivity improvements in the form of Wi-Fi 7 as well as two Thunderbolt ports. That's what I think about this motherboard. What about you? Let me know what do you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to reward my work with a like, that helps out a lot. And subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.